G'day everyone, last year I put out a video showing how to wire a basic lighting circuit which consisted of a baton holder and a light switch. Go and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet because it will make everything clear in today's video. Click on the pop up if you haven't seen the video and it will also be down in the description of this one. So today we're going to be introducing a second light fitting to this light circuit. For this demonstration I am using these PDL 629 baton holders. With respect to residential lighting circuits this is the same for any type of light fitting, whether it be these, down lights, or some other type of fitting. Right, so I've already explained how to connect these two items up from the last video. And what we'll be doing is putting a second light on the same switch. So to add this baton holder, we have to introduce another cable. Now generally, because this existing light fitting is already on the ceiling, and this new one is going to be most of the time located somewhere else on the same ceiling we will just run a wire between the two light fittings however if this light fitting is going to be on the wall or somewhere else on the same circuit so when you flick that switch on it turns that one on and that one on it might be easier to run this one back to the light switch now if it was running back to the light switch you would just pair it up with this cable. What I mean by that is the red, black and green cores will go into their exact same locations as the existing cable going to the baton holder. However in this video, because the majority of the time you will be wiring in the ceiling between the two light fittings, we will loop it off the existing light. So I'm just going to strip both ends of this cable so it's ready to go. Now when you run the cable between the existing one and the new one, you'll probably want to disconnect this one so you can slide both the cables through the existing hole. So what I'll do is completely get rid of this one for now. Right, next step. These existing terminations, you'll want to just cut off the copper and start again. It's always best practice to do that. Sometimes the cable is new enough that you can manipulate the cores again without them breaking on you. So strip them all back on both ends and then at this light fitting we're going to twist the corresponding colours together. So the two blacks are going to twist together, the two greens are going to twist together and the two reds will twist them together too. Looks like the apprentice has come to give me a hand. Alright, now once you've twisted all the corresponding colours together we're going to want to fit this baton holder back off. Now these baton holders are the 629s as I say. They are the most recent ones out. I will be putting up a video very shortly following this. To show you how to test and find out exactly what the terminals are. In an older baton holder that might not be labelled on the back of it. So we're going to put the earth into the green terminal there. And our red and black into either one of these two. Because it is a bayonet fitting, it doesn't matter which one it goes into. What I mean by bayonet is it's a lamp that clips in and twists. Anyway, that's the first light fitting fit off. Same again on the second one. And that's basically it. When you want to add more lights, simply just do the same for however many lights you desire on that circuit. Alright everyone, cheers for watching. Smash a like if you like it and I'll do a part 3 